schedule. You know, we stay on the road, on the go. So this time, it's just me and hubby. Praise him. Hush, mama. Thank you, Lord. It's just me and hubby. And we are about to have a little quick getaway in Austin before he has to return to work after quarantining and being able to work from home for like the last three to four months. So we're like, why the heck not? Okay. So here we are on the road, heading to Austin for an awesome little quick getaway. Just me and this guy right here. So stay tuned to see what we get into. Pulling up to where we'll be staying, which is the Hampton Inn and Suites. Let's check it out. Travel buddy. So I filmed this earlier on my iPad, but I wanted to do it on my phone to have all the footage together. But I gotta show y'all our room. We got a free upgrade just for no reason. Like, I love blessings like that. Look at this freaking room, y'all. So this, if we had the kids or somebody with us, this is a sofa bed. It's almost like a whole living room set up. And then there's a, like a desk that separates the room. This is called a studio suite. We was just trying to get a standard room and they upgraded us for free because we are gold members with Hilton. So it pays to be a member, guys. Travel tip, it pays to be a member of a hotel brand. If you travel a lot, I'd say be a member of all of them because there's that view again of the uh, pad. There's, this is a rooftop um, pool. So the pool is actually on the fifth floor. But it pays to be a member of a hotel brand because the perks after you get so many points are wonderful. We are gold members. We are trying to move up to platinum with hubby working and us traveling as much as we do. This is the bathroom, of course. It's separated, so the sink area is over here. And then there's a, clo a little closet. But it pays to be a member of a brand because the perks are awesome. That was just the closet. But yeah. Is a regular king room, but look at all the space we have. Like, I have never seen anything like this. And we're on the eighth floor. That we're on the highest floor of the hotel. So yeah, if you're ever in downtown Austin, stay at the Hilton. Oh no, this is the Hampton Inn. My bad. And ask for the studio suite if you want this much space. We got it for free, but. If you're actually wanting to book a room like this, this is what it's called. I gotta get that view one more time. We didn't make it down there today, but we said we'd get up in the morning before checkout and go down to the rooftop pool. What's going on, travel buddies? We are in Austin on the famous Rainy Street. Ah, y'all thought I was gonna say 6th Street. No, 6th Street is not my vibe. I will try to get some footage of it though for those of you who have never been. Because it is the most popular street here in Austin, Texas. But I'm, I'm not a 6th Street type of person. But there is a nice end of 6th Street that I will mess with. But not, no, I don't do the ratchet side. It gives me home vibes of like Bourbon Street, New Orleans type. And I've had my days on Bourbon. So, um, this is Tipsy Alchemist. It's like a two-story like bar situation. The guy right here told me that it was really nice upstairs. So, I'm going to try to get some footage of the upstairs. This is my friend right here. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> I just want to get some footage. Yeah. Yeah. He don't. He forgot he's at the room. This one. Right. Okay. I'll have some. I'll you can tell all that gray in his beard. You should know. Like get fooled sometimes. He does. People think he's not his age. But um, yeah. So we just have to show our ID real quick because it is a bar. But I want to see what it's. He said it's real nice. So hey, I'm not a huge drinker, but. Uh oh, booty me in the camera. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna go see what it's looking like. I'm a savage, okay. Little spot here, inside bar over there. Kind of almost similar to a little rooftop situation. I'm gonna actually walk around and see what's up. There's a friend right here. Chilling, working. Hey, you better shake it, girl. Y'all going, y'all going on YouTube? I hope you know. Okay. Hey, you look like Cardi B. Hey, it's Cardi B. <laughs> oh, these. Okay, so these chairs are high. I like that. Oh, it's like a greenery, like it's a very chill, grown and sexy to me type of spot. Like no foolishness, just chill. 
watch a little sports, sit with your friends type of vibe. The inside bar is freezing in here, so I'm not gonna go too deep, but you guys can see how that is. So this is called the Tipsy Alchemist, so it's a bar. So, but it's cool even if you just wanna come sit and chill. Like, I'm feeling those chairs, babe. But yeah, so I'm just trying to show y'all well, look at him. He's in the chair already. Chilling. We're in swim attire because we thought about hitting the lake, but we don't know yet. I mean, it is getting dark too. So. Um, but we, we saw this and we were like, hey, let's go. Uh-oh. OJ Simpson in the house. <laughs> OJ Simpson. <laughs> but yeah, it's real, it's real chill. I love that. So let's see what's on this side. Some more, some more seating. So yeah, so you can see we're kind of like up on a balcony type of thing. So yeah, Tipsy Afternoon. That's the name of this spot. Hey, YouTube. Travel buddies. This is my friend Jacob. Jacob is on pedals. Jacob is taking me down, me and Hubs, down Rainy Street so that I can get you guys more footage. Are we heavy, Jacob? Under assist, so it's really easy. Okay. So here's some food trucks over here. It's like a little food truck park. Over there, some more little spots. Is this electric? Oh, how nice. There's like another, some more, I guess, restaurants or patio situations to chill on. Real cool, real chill vibes. I love it down here. So yeah, Jacob is, Jacob's making us go way faster. I was gonna rent one of the little bikes, but then Jacob showed up. And it'll be much easier this way, more food trucks, than... This is the bigger food truck. Yeah, this one's bigger. I'm gonna walk in there later on. But Jacob is taking us up and down so that we can get more footage without having to walk. I don't mind walking, but it's gonna be dark soon. And I wanna get some good footage before that happens. So. Yes, this is Rainy Street. Now this Fairmont up here, y'all, that thing is bad to the bone. It's about $250 to $300 a night, but it's real nice. It's super huge. That's the Fairmont. It's a hotel. Like I said, it's gonna bust your head for about $250 to $300 a night, but it's super nice. Jacob, are you a Saints fan? I'm a New Orleans fan. I am a New Orleans fan. Look at the hat, y'all. <laughs> Jacob is officially my best friend. Black and I love it. More hotel. I love it. I love it. Whoa. This is cool. I don't know what this is. Oh, it looks like an apartment or a hotel or something. Let's turn around and get the footage on this side. Okay. Jacob, you're my main man. He's good on this bike. Like, I'm not even scared. <laughs> More uh, restaurant. Yes, indeed walk in a nice little way to end your Sunday evening I love it down here it's my first time on rainy street because like I said everybody everybody knows about infamous Sixth street but you don't hear too much about rainy so but I like the vibe of rainy because I don't feel ratchet and ghetto <laughs> have you been to West 6th street I okay I, I just passed through West 6th street for the first time yesterday a slingshot yeah, it's more classy. I saw it yesterday. So if you're ever in Austin and you don't do the Ratchet, you do West 6th Street. Don't go to Ratchet, Bill, unless you're into that. I'm not into that. So West 6th Street it shall be for me. But yeah, we're just catching some vibes. Riding with my main man, Jacob, here. Through. There's the husband. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? <laughs> y'all know he don't say very much. This is the other bigger side of the food truck park. Are these two separate food truck parks, Jacob? Or are they kind of consider them one? I mean, really, what I notice is a lot of people come out to Rainy specifically, specifically to eat. Yeah. And then later on, they'll ride out to West Six or you know Thirty Six. 
Okay, 36. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm good on that. I like West though. So this is more so restaurants then. Restaurants yeah. and bar vibes. Yeah. So restaurants and bar vibes on Rainy Street. West, I'm promoting West 6th Street. Cause I don't like 36th Street. It makes me feel too ratchet. Okay. He's in a slingshot. You too, baby. Yes, love it, love it. And. Let's make that very clear. Not dirty, sister. Not dirty. Well. Dirty. Oh, y'all ain't gonna be able to see. It. It's behind me. So, Dirty Sixth Street is like back that way. We are going the opposite direction, okay? Because I don't fight. So, we're just walking right now, trying to find some good spot. We're actually looking for food. We haven't eaten yet. So, West Six is still like bars and stuff, but it's more classy. It's not ratchet. <laughs> I mean, let's just not even show it. So that's where we are right now. Um, we're not in the like greatest park yet. We just finished parking the car. That's right, y'all. We just finished parking the car. Walking walking down the clean part of 6th Street, not the dirty one. I don't want to have to slap the So yeah, we're just out exploring of what's on West 6th. The nice, the nice 6th Street. I don't do the ratchet. There's Buford. I think that's a cool green spot I haven't been but it looks nice a lot of the places on West 6 are more just classier outdoor restaurant slash bar type places so this is whiskey tango foxtrot okay military don't don't take me back oh y'all know what that means <laughs> it's some little situation this is kind of chill or whatever Trying to see where some food might be. We stopped, we went to some of the food trucks at on Rainy. I didn't really see anything I really, really wanted. I, my appetite's kind of funky. Right now, so. so it doesn't mean that the food wasn't good. I'm just kind of picky these last few weeks as far as I don't want a whole lot. I just like real thinned out food. I haven't really been that hungry, so. Bus. That bus over there being all loud. So yeah, we just walking down the strip, seeing the sights on West Six. Your girl can't handle a uh, dirty six, so we drove down to this side. I, just, I can't deal. I cannot deal. Dogwood. I don't know what that is, but <laughs> it's this way. Look at him. Yes. He better dance. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're just walking. I know. So yeah, we'll catch up with you guys. Look at my friend, guys. He got me some food. Is that for me? You got damn right it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's my friend from New Orleans. Tell them where they can find you. you can find me at Special White. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Goddamn right, that's part of the fucking contract, you know what I mean? <laughs> I get a little bit of that good, good, that fat. New Orleans, y'all. New Orleans style. There you go. Yo. Yeah. It ain't nothing like some free crawfish. I'm about to tear this up. <laughs> y'all, I'm in heaven right now. And it was free. He just gave it to us. I don't even care. Y'all know me. I love crawfish. Baby, you can eat some of the sausage or something. He don't like crawfish. He stopped it. What is that? I bet I messed that one up. You want some? All right, y'all. Let me get down on that. 
Good morning, travel buddies. Forgive us if we looking a little rough. But we are up this morning, about to go hang out by the pool before we have to actually check out. Um, I was like actually sleeping and I woke up at like four in the morning and I couldn't go back to sleep because my brother and his girlfriend had their baby. Congratulations to my bro and my little sis on your baby. Um, so I couldn't really go back to sleep and then I had a lot on my mind. So I probably went to sleep probably around like eight again. And now it's a little, it's a little bit after 10 and we just wanted to come and get this beautiful rooftop pool view and check out the, um, we want to check out the pool and the view this morning. We got a, we got some company up here. <laughs> um, so yeah, we just wanted to come hang out on the roof before we have to actually check out. Oh my God, I love it. Look at this view. We are on the roof of the hotel. Now y'all know I love me a cabana now. Try to get that, yeah. So we're actually way up there on the eighth floor is where our room is. These are those corner suites I was telling you about, babe, with these balconies. I don't even wanna know how much them cost. But one day I'm gonna do it though. But we are up on the balcony. There's the little Capitol. I believe that's the Capitol building. Just getting some footage up downtown. Here's the pool. So the pool is actually on the fifth floor. So it's really nice. I think I might even get in. I'm definitely not wearing a swimsuit right now because I wanted to save my swimsuit for later when we go out and I don't have a backup. Like a crazy person, I never forget. I always forget to bring my backup, but we're gonna hang out here and just chill before we have to go check out. What do you know, travel buddies? I run into some cousins. No, just kidding. No, he's from Louisiana too. Enjoy it sometimes. I'm waiting on Jay to come back down. He went to uh, he went to get his trunks. I said I wasn't getting in, but what the heck? It, it actually doesn't feel bad after you get it's, it's not too bad. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
Make sure I'm recording. Oh yeah, it's going. The water is cold, but once you're in it, it does not get something out of there one day that was the theme colors for our wedding Tiffany blue and silver we are at the domain 
one of my favorite places to come when I come to Austin. Babe, how many times have you been here? This is my, I want to say second time. I think so. Yeah. And the, uh, the clothes is ugly, y'all, but it's pricey. Very, <laughs> very pricey, but the we, clothes is ugly. We have this thing where we go in like the super, super upscale stores and we look at the, the stuff and we laugh. Not because we can't afford it, but because, because we can actually, but it's just, even with being able to afford it, it's just, I'm not a fan. Like, look at these, look at these shoes. They're okay, but I bet you if you go in there and look at the price tag, they're probably about 500 bucks. Yeah, like, they're not all that. Like, I don't know, maybe I just have a weird style. A regular shirt like like this would be like maybe $500. Yeah, and Neiman Marcus. It's not that deep to me. It's and like, if now if you, that's the life you live and you enjoy that, I say go for it, but for me, like look at this, Big Bird, come on now. I know. And I promise you that dress is probably in the four digits. What is yours? this? Pro something. Pronovius. Prono Prono that's a new one, I haven't seen that one. Oh, it's like wedding dresses and stuff. Now that's pretty. What's that? You don't know. That's like more of a wedding dress. But yeah, it's gonna be high. So, I mean, I feel like I said, I feel like if that's your life, that's what you like to do. Hey, go for it. I'm not knocking you one bit. That's just not my, with money and all, that's just not my taste for certain Someone things here. 50% off. Yeah, so that means when, be that's, <laughs> that's coach. <laughs> so, but I'm not knocking anybody who shops at these stores. They go my store over there. Yeah. Mac, baby. Oh. I'm not knocking anybody that shops here on a regular. Do you, boo. But... I'm just not a fan. I've, I've never really been a, a fan of department stores either. Now, some places I will go to, it's like H&M and stuff like that. So it, it's not because, oh, they're, you know, l less inexpensive or whatever. They're not as expensive as some other stores. It's not even that. It's just I like that kind of stuff better. Like, I'm not into some of the fashion in these higher-end stores. It's just not cute to me. Like, it's just not my style. If it were, then, yeah, I'd buy it and I'd get what I want to get. But... It's just not my style. But I'm not knocking those who, who do. Like, I would probably do something like this if I saw it. In the... You wouldn't? <laughs> if I was, nah, not that. that Maybe not. not that. No. Maybe not that, but. Look at that. <laughs> Matter of fact, y'all, hold up, hold up. I'm gonna go ahead. They're gonna be like, why is he in this store? Oh. Store capacity. It's so bright in there. He wants to see the the dress. Oh my god. You're wanting me to come in now. <laughs> it's so bright. <laughs> I love it though. I like it. Oh, they gave you one? Yes. Oh, they have some. Just in case somebody does make it. I think they're just trying to make people feel comfortable however they feel. You know what I mean? Yeah. Thank you, ladies. Look at that. What are you doing? Seriously? Yeah. Look, y'all. <laughs> you were tacky. At least we got the mask. Are we can go? It feels good in here. Too. I know. Thank you. We went in there and took the people mask, and he went to. Did y'all see that? 117. That, that dress was not dress. cute Hitting. at all. But that may be somebody's style, and if that's what you do, baby, go for it. And not my style. And that's a lot of places around here. Ooh, that's a lot of places around here. That's how it is. But we're gonna keep walking. I'm kind of wanting to put the selfie stick down for a minute, but we're gonna get at you later. I got my Starbucks, y'all. Y'all know I'm playing no games. Plus, because I was up since four, and I did get like a little small two hour nap. I need this because I have so much I still wanna do before we head home to be with them kiddos. And I'm not going to turn in early just because I feel a little tired. I will quickly grab some Starbucks before I do that. So we're gonna continue our journey. See if anything interesting pops off while we're out here. Y'all, I'm going to Mia Ramen Bar one day. Probably not today, because hubby, he ain't gonna eat that. But I wanna go to a ramen bar so bad. 
I'm gonna get my friends to go with me. But we are on Rock Rose, guys. And if you haven't heard of Rock Rose in Austin, Texas, it is like a mini Sixth Street. Um, at by night, by day, it's just kind of like restaurants and stuff. But at night, it's like a mini Sixth Street. There's like rooftop bars and other little bars and stuff you can go to here. I went once back in the day when it first first opened. Haven't been since, especially since I'm not much of a bar person. But they do have that here. Um, so, yeah. Well, y'all, we had to take a little break. It's very hot out here. <laughs> but we actually were having a good conversation while we were walking. Um, because I was like, okay, so out here there's a lot of like apartments on top of the the shops or whatever, and I was telling Jay how I um, always wanted to live like in those high rise like um, what do you call those like apartment buildings like over like in Germany it's very popular too over the, uh, where over, you're over, over the business. shops and over the business like you can literally walk downstairs and like hey I'm gonna go get a Starbucks or hey I'm gonna go buy a shirt or whatever so. I was telling him how in my single days, I always wanted to live like that. And even when I was in high school, I think my, my freshman year, I wanted to go to school in either New York or LA because I went to school for radio and TV broadcasting, if you can't tell. I only finished one semester and I barely passed by a hair. Um, and that's when I joined the army. But prior to that, at like ninth grade, I was like, I wanna go to school in one of those areas where that that kind of thing is more, I guess more, what, do I look, what, what word am I looking for? Like you have more opportunity, opportunity, I guess, in that in that field. Because people try to tell me like, oh, you shouldn't go in that field, ain't no money that. I'm like, you don't know what you're talking about. But um, my parents killed that dream. You don't, you know how expensive LA is? Do you know how high it's going to be for you to go to New York? And they, were, they weren't lying, it's very expensive. But I'm the type of parent where I feel like if my child wants that and if that's a part of their dream, let them live that. Do what you gotta do to get them there. Like, I'm, my kids are young enough where if that's what they say they wanna do, I could put things, we already have accounts for them that they don't even know about that's already building. So when they say, I need a car, I need an apartment, I need this, boom, here you go, you, you got it. It don't mean we spoil them and it doesn't mean that they could just come hit us up for money like that without working for it. But I want them to have the best opportunities. And I wanted to go to school in New York and LA and really take my career to another level. And guess who killed it for me? My parentals. So I'm just like, man, we gotta quit doing our kids like that. We gotta quit telling them what they can and can't do because of our limitations in our own mind. Like walking around here really brought that back to me. I, th I forgot all about that literally until we walked out here. Like. I, I could have been living in this type of environment, whether here in Texas, LA, New York, I, Philly, wherever. I mean, and I, I wanted to do it. sports. That would have been cool to be working for a football team, doing their sports casting and all that stuff. But yeah, it was killed. So parents, don't do that to your kids. If they tell you that they have something that they really want to do, I know kids flip flop and stuff like that, but I've learned. And if you follow me and follow my business page and my motivation page, I've learned that when a kid comes to you with something, that is what is in them and don't kill that for them. I mean, of all people, parents don't, don't kill your dreams. My, my, my dad kind of killed my, killed my dreams too. That's one of the, the big, one of the biggest reasons I, I joined the military. And now I look back at it. My back station, sorry. <laughs> oh, and, and now I, I, uh, I look back at it and I'm like, well, I mean, I don't know if that's the way he was raised or he wanted me to do something, something different or whatever, but I would never do that to my kids because if they we come to me, life. obviously they, they, they have the passion for it. So we're gonna do, so we, um, we're gonna do everything in our powers to help them fulfill their, their dreams. So parents, don't kill your kids. And I will also say, yeah, kids flip flop. One minute they want to do violin, one minute they want to do football, one minute they want to play soccer. But if that's what it takes for them to find their passion, first of all, I will tell parents, drive whatever that they're trying to do, drive that in them 
and make sure that they don't give up, give up and they're not just easily giving up first. Then if you see that, yeah, this is not for him or this is not for her, then I would push them into the next thing. But don't give up, don't let them give up and you don't give up on them because my life could have been completely different if I would have been able to live out what I was trying to live out. I had already set up, I know what I was gonna do ultimately and I still am, but I feel set back. And if my parents would have just let me make that move, who knows where I could have been, you know? I believe everything happens for a reason. I mean, I probably would have never met Jay. I probably would have never joined the army. I mean, God, thank you, Lord, if I would have never had to do that. But all these things. But you just never want to kill your kids' dreams. And I just thought about that when we were walking out here. Because it is that kind of environment that I've always seen myself in. Which is one reason why we're moving away from where we live now. Because we want to be in a more businessy environment. But long story short, don't kill your kids' dreams because of your limitations and your mind. Don't do that to them. Kids have the imaginations that they have for a reason. God put it in them so that their purpose can be fulfilled. If he placed it in them, it's going to be birthed from the time you find out you're pregnant with them. Don't kill their dreams because you have limitations in your in your mind. I will never do that to my kids, ever. And I would encourage you not to do it because you, who know, you don't know who you've birthed. You don't know what's in them, what great thing. They can take you out of a place. Don't kill it for them because you're limited in your mind. And one big thing, parents, just because... You didn't have the best life. Don't um, don't put that off on your kids. Please, parents don't. always. You should always want your kids to have a better life than you. Exactly. So, Some what, people are selfish, and they'll yeah. be like, "Well, I didn't have it, so what you need it for?" I I I have to be honest. I did start out like that, but I quickly learned. I quickly learned. I want my. That's why we do this travel vlog. That's why we take our kids places, and we don't have a problem. Now, this is a mommy and daddy trip, but y'all see my kids on this camera. We don't have to have a problem taking our kids places because we didn't have that. And my kids love it. And it's gonna, as they get older, they're gonna appreciate it so much that we did not limit them because of things we didn't get. I mean, we uh, we try to take our kids on um, as much trips as possible because when we were younger, we didn't have that. So they're gonna look back and Man, see my, that, uh, my vacations in the summer was going from Louisiana, from Texas to Louisiana and back and forth. I mean, I'm I, grateful, but I didn't really start traveling, traveling until I got older. I went on, on a on a couple trips, but right now I want to see the I want to see the world. And we got passports, so and our kids do too. All right. But yeah, guys, we're just taking a little cool off break. We're about to start moving around again, but we just wanted to share that. I got the water. Stay yeah. hydrated. Y'all. I have my coffee. It's hot on here. Hot. I have my. How y'all doing? I have my coffee. Got my water now. We're about to move around some more. Y'all, we gotta stay hydrated in this Texas heat, but we're gonna holla at y'all. Look at all these people. That don't make no doggone sense. Look at all these people at the Apple store. Now what if I want to go in and look at something? Mm -mm. Y'all know I'm in heaven. We done found this upscale furniture store and it's giving me life for the house we're about to get built, our second home, when we move. Y'all look, this is outdoor furniture. We ain't even on the inside yet. This is outdoor furniture. And the people, I, you know, especially with all that's going on in the world today, I have to tell y'all, the people didn't like look at us sideways. They didn't, you know, we black, let's just be real. 
Okay, but all that's going on, people assume you can't, we can't get this kind of stuff. Y'all look at this. Everything, she said everything in here, even the light fixtures, the light fixtures are for sale. When I move, this is where we shopping. There's a location in Dallas too, which is where we're headed. So I'll be able to shop there. Look at the little fire pits. Like, come on now. The store is four stories. It's called RH Modern, I believe. Um, it's four stories. The outside where we are now, of course, is the outside uh, patio furniture. I'm gonna go inside and start working our way down the four stories. I think this is more outside furniture too. Yeah, it is. But we're gonna work our way down. But, babe, what you think about it? This is lovely. Look at them chandeliers. These chandeliers, and you can buy these to put in your home. Like, come on. Come on, somebody, okay? Like, this is life for us because this is where, this is the type of vibe our next home will have. This is so, a sign for us. It's, yes, because I wasn't even gonna come to the domain. I come here a lot. But I've never in my life been to this store. Never even seen it. My friend that lives here, I just called her. She's like, I've never seen that store. I said, girl, me either. So, oh, this is the name of, look at this. Come on now. Look at, look at the Lord's doing. Showing the people where they headed. They making us wear a mask, y'all. Because y'all know I ain't about that mask life. Unless they make me. Look at this, y'all. Look at the fixtures. This is my, this is my vibe. Y'all know, ooh, yes, listen. Y'all know I love modern. And my goal oh, over here, this is my goal right here. This is goals. So y'all know we got a thousand kids. But I told my husband when we move to our forever home, I want all white. Now this has got gray in it, but I'll take that too. But I want all white everything in my room. It'll be a victory celebration of no kids in my room. Cause they'll be old enough to stay in their own part of the house. But I am loving this vibe of this store. And this is the kind, I, I like simple, but chic and modern. And this store is giving me all of that. Like I'm catching all the vibes, if you cannot tell. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I'm loving this. The shelves, like I've never even seen shelves like these. Cause like all we really have is like Ikea. It's the, Ikea gets, I like Ikea, but it gets a little, it's a little overrated sometimes. Y'all, you can even purchase the chandeliers. Like, this store is a bomb. I just can't. I'm trying not to act real niggerish because I'm overly excited about this store because it's my whole vibe. It's my whole vibe. So I had to show y'all that. This is the, the name of the store, I believe, here. Look at this couch, first of all. Before I even show you that, look at this couch. Look at the vibe of the couch. That stuff looks so comfortable. That's somewhere, that's a couch where you can say, babe, come on, let's curl up and watch a movie after a long day. This is the name of the store here, guys. RH Modern. Yep, this is my vibe. And ain't nobody gonna take that from me. I don't care. I don't care, I don't care. You're not gonna take it from me. I'm getting me some stuff from here, if not my whole house. Try me if you want. Y'all, he didn't lead up on the people couch. The couches are nice and deep, which is what I love. But yeah, I just had to show y'all that. What's going on, travel buddies? We're at Zilker Park, one of my favorite parks in Austin. About to go do some kayaking and whatnot. Have a little fun fun. But let me tell y'all something. I think I'm a little more shook up because, let's go this way. A little more shook up because just the world we living in right now, not even shook up, I would say aggravated and a little pissed off. Yeah, I said it. So we were trying to ask somebody for directions to the nearest ATM. And this lady, I want to say she might have been Caucasian. She might have been Hispanic. I really don't know what she was. What I do know, she was about to catch these pants, okay? Because I don't play. And I don't even try to be like that. But I tried to, we were trying to ask, you know. I said, excuse me, ma'am, in the nicest tone. And she starts speed walking with her, her husband and her little kids little fat dough boy looking let me not go there anyway she starts to speed walk like we were trying to attack her and we just wanted directions to the freaking atm and that thing bothered me if you can't tell and the, i think the reason it bothered me because i've been encountering some really nice people of other races especially with all that's going on right now 
And so for her to act like that, like we wanted something from her or like we was gonna do something. I guess maybe she thought we were beggars or something. I don't know what she thought, but I know what she, she better be glad. She better be glad. That's all I can say. I'm, I'm not even gonna go all into it. I'm not gonna let it ruin my day. I'm not gonna let it ruin my mood, but it's just, it's a culture shock for the fact that peop, there are people out here that I know it had everything to do with our color. I know it had to. You don't have to tell me, I know. But we was hot. Let, let, I mean, let's just be real. I haven't encountered that in, you know, in a very long time. But I do know, I'm not oblivious to the fact that it's still happening, especially right now. But she better counter this, because if she, <laughs> okay. But anyways, we are going to go kayaking and enjoy the rest of our little time here. Um, and we will, after we're done kayaking, I'm gonna try to get some footage on the kayak. I do have my swim, uh, my waterproof case that I use for swimming. So I, I might try to get some footage. If I don't, just know we had a great time. All right, so the first question is about masks. What are your opinion on masks? Do you wear them? Do you not wear them? Are they effective? Um, I, I think they can be effective. I'm not, I don't wear one unless a particular business asks me to. Personally, I feel like it's more to keep it in if you have it, not necessarily to catch it from someone else. That's that's just my opinion. Right. And what are your thoughts on medical masks versus cloth masks? Do you think cloth masks aren't effective at all? Because there's been some studies showing that 97% of particles can actually penetrate through cloth masks versus 44% of medical masks. Do you think the public would be wearing cloth masks if they knew that? What are your thoughts? I think personally the cloth mask is it's it's literally what they want to call it it's a cover-up just so people can feel protected but i don't necessarily think it's doing anything there's a reason why medical masks were created there's a reason why medical masks are made so if that's the case then why when i go to the emergency room on a regular day before covid why won't they say hey bring a bandana and put something on your face if they're providing me with an actual medical mask so personally i don't think it's effective i think it's people make it you know, it makes them feel safe. For whatever reason, I don't know. I don't wear them. It is what it is. <laughs> and what are your thoughts on um, this study that came out recently by the insider saying that people who were following lockdown measures had psychopathic tendencies? <laughs> Do you think that's crazy? What are your thoughts? I 100% agree. I have been a mental uh, illness patient in the past. Um, I still have my moments, but I am an extrovert, I am an outdoor, like you see where I'm at right now. And I feel like making someone stay in can cause that. I have a lot of friends who are introverts and even they are saying, I don't like the fact that I'm being made to do this. It's different when I do this on my own, but for just the fact that you're making me do this, now I wanna be out. So I personally feel that that is definitely, you know, causing more mental illness risk and all that other stuff that they study when it comes to mental illness and people, having moments and things like that. Uh, if you could ask the question again, and um, that was an awesome response. If you could say like, um, like people are being called psychopaths. Yeah. They're being yeah. called that? Yeah. yeah. So oh, I can show man. you the article. Okay. Actually. You are so cute. I love your freckles and everything. <laughs> You're so sweet. Mm -hmm. I got a baby. How old your baby? He's gonna be five months. I got a almost one year old in the shoes. Okay, so this uh, article right here says people who ignore social distancing rules may have psychopathic personalities. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. So I could I think it's 50-50 for me. I feel like if you kind of already were struggling with it, I think it can be intensified. But I also feel like it could be bring some people this is their just being out. For me, I can speak for me. This is my livelihood. Not being able to get out of my house was driving me insane. So I definitely feel it could be a 50-50 type of situation. It just depends. What are your thoughts on the experts going back and forth on you should wear a mask, you shouldn't wear a mask, uh, asymptomatic carriers are spreading things, they're not spreading things. Oh, wow. uh, they seem to be going back and forth a lot. Um, are the public supposed to follow this? Or are we seeing a lot of confusion? Um, do you think that can be remedied? What are your thoughts? Um, I feel like it definitely should, should, should be remedied. I feel like, what do you want us to do? Because one, on one hand, you're saying the masks are more for the person who actually has the virus. On another hand, you're saying that the mask is to help prevent the virus from spreading. But if I don't have it, and why do I need to wear one? If you know that you have it, of course, put something on, cover your face. Because 
I've even I've even done my own research and it is more effective to wear the mask if you actually carry the, the virus. If we're all four of us walking around right now and neither one of us have it, but neither of us wear a mask, how are we gonna get it? You know, so I feel like they need to come to say what is more effective as far as for the people who actually have it. Those of us who just, I know I'm good. Like there's not a question, but I don't want to feel like, I can't breathe that thing. So I, can't, I don't want to feel like I have to wear it because you have it. You know, I feel like it's more the measure of that person. First of all, if you have it while you're outside. But if you know you don't have it, then what is the point? Mm -hmm. And then last question for you. So there's been a lot of talk about a COVID-19 vaccine. They're trying oh, to push it. Oh, girl, you about it. to get me going. <laughs> um, they're saying that animal studies aren't even necessary. They just want to really push this thing out real quick. Do you think that's a good idea? Are you concerned about safety? Are you going to take the vaccine when it comes out? I'm gonna get it for this one. I am not a vaccinator. I do not vaccinate my kids. I do not vaccinate. I have been vaccinated. I will say that because I had to be for the military. Me personally, I don't believe in putting poison in my body. That's just my opinion. If you get vaccines, I'm not judging you. Just don't judge me because I don't. So therefore, I will not be getting it. My kids not, will not be getting it. So whatever measures we have to take because they won't and we won't, it's fine with me. Right. Well, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. You guys are welcome. Yeah. Thank you. We is in the people kayak. We didn't almost hit a couple of bushes, but I think Babe is getting the hang of it. So we in the people kayak. I think Babe is getting the hang of it. So he got us. I'm about to help him in a minute, but I just wanted to. Look. <laughs> he working hard. This our arm workout for today, y'all. Want to show out? Okay, sir. We got you. We don't know what we doing, but wait till we learn. We got you. Yes, sir. I think Babe became a pro. You a pro, Babe? <laughs> I, can't, I don't even know if y'all can see him because I got my pouch on my, around my neck. I'm just trying to catch some scenery. We done ran into a couple bushes, but don't judge our life. We still getting it popping, y'all. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> no, it's probably us. Girl, we new to this. <laughs> We're about to crash. We're about to crash. Okay, we made it. <laughs> I love this though. What's going on, travel buddies? We're back in Colleen. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you so much. And we were gonna eat in Austin, but it started going down raining. I don't know where. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. It started pouring down rain out of nowhere. So we came back to Colleen. Um, we went to one of our spots we actually like here anyway, because it's the kind of food we wanted anyway. We just had to catch a little fish, a little gumbo, a little fries and stuff. So kept it kind of simple. We're soaked from being in that kayak. So we wherever we were going to go, we wanted to eat outside because we don't want to be um, you smelling like lake water in the people establishment because we were we're not far from home well if we were still in austin we wouldn't have been far from home so but um we are wrapping up the last few excuse me the last few minutes of our little trip we enjoyed ourselves much needed mommy and daddy time we have not had that since valentine's day so you're looking at about four months ago so imagine what our marriage has been through by not having just time for just ourselves but we're wrapping up so sad hubby got to go to work tomorrow but don't think that this is the last trip because it's definitely not you know us but yeah we're gonna wrap up finish eating and enjoy ourselves with the last few minutes of freedom that we have before we get home to the young ones but um yeah, just make sure you guys like and subscribe to see where we headed to next. As always, we love you guys and thank you guys for your support. If you have any questions or ever want to chat with us, just comment down below and we will definitely respond. But we thank you guys for your support. Like, subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you on the next go round.